Okay, people, this is the video to show you how to get started with using your Fire Stick in your home. Um, once you plug up your Fire Stick to your TV and your HDMI port, um, you should get this screen once it is powered on. It um, says home screen. Home is currently available. Uh, you would go down to go to network settings. You would find your particular um, Wi Fi connection. Click on it. Okay, this is the portion where you put your password in. After you put your password in, you can either press this button down here at the bottom or your play button on your remote. You should see it uh, telling you the status. Uh, now you are connected. All right, you press your back button, you should see your home screen. Um, you would go down to this blue K. This is Cody. This is the app that we'll be using for all your content, your videos, your TV shows, uh, movies, music, all of that. Um, once you get on this screen, you might see some screens that pop up. Um, you just say dismiss to that. It's just telling you, trying to get you to go onto this site. Um, don't worry about that screen, that's something that I have just specifically set up for mine uh, that I'm still working on. But you will go down to which I use the most is Exodus. Um, uh, depending on what you're looking for movies, TV shows, my movies that's what you can upload. My TV shows, new movies, new episodes, channels, tools, search. Okay, um. Just gonna give you a quick little run through if you are looking for a movie that uh, is in theaters now. I know this is uh, probably gonna be one of the most popular categories you can go through, being that uh, everyone wants to see the latest movies. So uh, let's go to Hidden Figures. You click on that. This is the provider search. Don't be um, alarmed. It's gonna run um, default 30 seconds. Even if it's found some good providers, it's still gonna run that span of time. So you just wait that out. Um, once the providers do pull up, um, you will click on a provider and your movie will load up. Um, it will let you know if there is an HD quality movie that is available. Um, they're gonna be at the top as you see we got one two three four five six seven seven different options for HD movie uh, most times I just click on the top one it's gonna load some other providers that's what makes extreme so fast it actually loads other options as well um, as you can see, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. There is an HD copy of this movie that is still out in theaters. Um, yeah. So. That is what we're doing. So, let's go to some other things that we can do. Um, let's go back a little bit. Um, TV shows. You can do TV shows as well. You can do um, airing today. That's a popular one. Um, you can go by network. Some things that may be coming on today that you might want to see, catch. Uh, some of the popular shows that are out. Uh, go to the next page. So on and so forth. If you know um, the network that is coming on, you can go to networks. And um, this is a list of the networks that they have listed. Uh, you know. So for some of the people that don't have some of the premium channels, 
Let me take y'all back. Let y'all see. You got the Stars Network, which is a premium channel. Um, this one may be one a lot of people enjoy because it does have power. Um, the past three seasons. Fourth season has not started yet, so it's not on here. But um, you got Stars. Go back. You got Netflix series, which a lot of people may say. Okay. Um... Netflix. I got Netflix, so what about my Netflix? Um, basically, you can cut your Netflix off because um, I do have the Netflix series. Orange is the New Black. Um, the Marvel series like Luke Cage. But that's a good one that I really enjoy. Um, maybe I need to stop this movie. Oh, there it is. So, you got all the Netflix series that are exclusive, uh, supposed to be exclusive to Netflix. But, you do have those series. So, yeah. Got those. You got the option for those. Um, what else do we have on here? HBO. Got the HBO series. Uh, so, you got all this good stuff. Uh, that you might want to check out, you know, uh, even Cinemax. My parents, I do advise if you got small children, um, you might want to monitor their use with this because it does have all the content for all these networks. Uh, might be a little bit much for the young viewers, but yeah. Um, so that's, um, that. Now if you want to check out some of the live channels, you would go, the one that I use the most is the C-Cloud app. And with the C-Cloud app, <coughs> you have all channels, which you've probably seen in another one of my videos. You got the all channels button. And basically, this is um, channels from all, all around the world. Not just the American channels. So it's a bit much. You have to go through it. As you can see, I think it's scrolling pretty fast. And it's not even got midways yet. So yeah, that's what you got. You got channels all around the world. Um... Nickelodeon and all that good stuff and yeah, all that. Um, then you have the sports option, then you have the English channels, top ten, you know. Entertainment, you got the different subcategories on the man, yeah. All that good stuff. So yeah. You do have a wide variety. Probably too much to ever really get through. Um you can add pictures, you can do music, um, different programs, different things. Anything you are needing to know or want on your five stick that you cannot access at this point, yeah, I'm sure it's on here. Um, just give me a call or shoot me a message on Facebook Messenger and I'll get you going. Um, hope this helps. If you have any questions again, please do not hesitate to call me. And that's it for now. Bye-bye.